Okay, we're back. If you're just joining us, tonight's contest between the Huntsville Eagles and the Prairie Grove Tigers. Again, and I'm Lynn Gregson, got Derek Dugan with me, and tonight's contest, a little different tonight. We will be broadcasting the boys' game first, as uh, today is Colors Day, and I believe one or two of the girls that play was part of the Colors Day court. That'll be the second game tonight. So the first one is the boys' game. Derek, tonight's game, a very important contest. As you look at the conference standings, Huntsville ended 6-1. Pea Ridge ended 6-1 for the first half of the season. And Prairie Grove sitting at 5-2, just one game back of those two teams. That, and they lost to both by two, uh, lost to Pea Ridge by two and Huntsville by four, I believe. Wasn't yep. that right? And played Huntsville twice this year. Played them in a, a tournament earlier on and lost a close game as well. So, yeah, you're right. Uh, you are talking about the standings, Lynn. We talked about Tuesday night how it was so important for us to get that win over Lincoln and get some separation between the third and the fourth place. But now you set yourself up in a really nice position to you win tonight and you're competing for a conference championship. So Tuesday night was kind of a third place feel type game. Tonight, if you want to compete for a conference championship, this is a game you got to win on your home court. And the thing is, is it, and, and don't want to get way far ahead of ourselves at all, but this no. is a game that – if you can win by more than four, it's even better. Yeah, <laughs> even better. Sure. But yeah. but but you want to come out of here with a win, if at all possible. Big crowd tonight, Derek. Versus a lot of games that we had this year, uh, basketball feels like when you're in a gym. Like I love our gym, even though <laughs> our gym is small and there's a lot of new gyms. We're getting a new one. I still like it when this gym's packed like this. Oh man, it, and I believe last time Huntsville was here and we had a packed crowd like this, something kind of magical happened on the court. We'll see if we can recreate some of that magic tonight, uh, but that's a good point, Lynn. Well, the thing about you talking about the magic, uh, it's a good segue. Tonight, one of the played in that famous 2007 district tournament game that was right here, one of the leaders of the Prairie Grove Tigers that year, Stephen Neidlitz, in the house, and we've asked him to come up for an interview at halftime awesome. of the game tonight, get a chance to chat with him, see what's been going on. He's played uh, at Tulsa, and he's played in Europe and throughout the world. He's played throughout the world, and uh, 6'11", and uh, he looked like he's put a little more uh, muscle on him since the days he was here. Yeah, I think he said his basketball career ended probably about two months ago. So okay. now there's no staying in shape for anything. It's eat what you want, when you want. That's kind of a nice way to live. But, yeah, it'll be great to have Steven up here at halftime. Is that going to be the boys' game? Yeah, I think we're going to try to get him up here, and we'll, we'll do that at the boys' game at halftime. Uh, unless, of course, Coach Edmiston comes out and – it brings him down in the locker room at halftime to, to sneak if, a jersey off. If there was any way possible <laughs> that that could happen, I know he would. Well, Derek, in the first game, you know, uh, that was early season. We're starting, I feel like, and all teams do develop throughout the year, but I felt like that uh, our guys are, are, are starting to gel. Same thing as last year. We just hit 500 on the season, yeah, total yeah. wins, 9-9, nine and 5-2 nine, and two in the conference. But this is about the same time last year. Many of these guys yeah. that are on this team was on that team last year that really kind of turned the corner. Yeah, and the great thing about what we've done so far is, you know, the teams that really I feel like we're, we're supposed to beat, we beat them. And now it's a chance tonight to come into a game where you're probably not supposed to, at least on paper, win the ball game because Huntsville, I think they come into the game like 19-2 and two or something like that. But it's a, it's a game that we know we can be competitive with. It's a matter of can we – play four quarters, put together four quarters, and be able to win the ball game at the end. And when you were talking about Pea Ridge and Huntsville kind of one game ahead of us, Lynn, the nice thing about playing those two teams is we played at their place two times. Oh, yeah. So we've got Huntsville tonight here. Pea Ridge will come here later on in a few more weeks. And so we'll have a chance to kind of right those two uh, mistakes there and get back into the thick of things and, and we're right there you know third place but just one game behind both of those teams uh, all of our goals are pretty much right in front of us and they're there for the taking we just got to go out and do it yeah we'll have to definitely execute tonight and you know Derek the I was talking to one of the assistant coaches uh, T.W. Dotson over there uh, and in talking with him, I said, so what happened the other night with the P. Ridge game? He said P. Ridge just shot the lights out. He yeah. said he doesn't know their percentage, 
He said 70%. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Wow. But, but it wouldn't surprise me they can get hot. But he said they just played really well, and uh, that was a, a big win for P. Ridge because had P. Ridge lost that, they would be, you know, their loss to Gentry, yeah. uh, they, yeah. they would really be in a, a, a little bit different situation. But anyway, it looks like the entire choir is going to be out there tonight. Last time we had the all the all male choir. I I, I talked to Miss Katie Young and I told her I said I, I thought that was really uh it was really good last uh, last uh, time we webcast. Yeah. Well, the thing you're talking about P Ridge and how well they shoot, we know we know very well how hot this Huntsville team can get as well. And uh, I was teasing the the radio guy up here for Huntsville and I said. I watched a little bit of the JV boys game that played before the, the homecoming, the Colors Day took place. I saw one of the JV boys from Huntsville miss a three-point shot, and I said, I think that's the first three I've seen him miss in this gym. <laughs> Huntsville, in all the years, it just seems like every time they get an open look, they're knocking it down. They are just a, a well-coached, solid – you know, Huntsville is a basketball school, Lynn, and they've got just a solid tradition on the boys and the girls' side. Uh, they've won state championships on, on both – uh, male and the female side of it. So uh, it's always going to be a tough matchup. But I, I hope that and I think our guys will be up to the well, challenge tonight. They'll come out inspired and play hard. Well, one thing I can see in, in those that, you know, if you're watching, you can just see from the camera itself whenever they're on uh, Huntsville, they've got some size. Yeah, they they, I mean, they got yeah. some good size. And uh, they're not going to be – I mean, Dylan uh, Sainer does intimidate a lot of people, you know, on the court. I don't think that will happen tonight because of the size – he, they're going to have good matchups for Dylan tonight. Uh, I, I'm not as familiar with their roster, but number 43, Jose Aguilar, Aguilar Jose Aguilar, six four, uh, but he's got good size on yeah, him. Yeah, he's a little shorter than Dylan, but not that much shorter, and should be interesting. Well, let's go to the court, and we're going to have our choir sing the national anthem. Nice. That was nicely done by our choir, and now they're going to sing the alma mater. Derek, if you said if you, if there was a key tonight, this contest, if there was something that we really need to make sure that we start off well tonight, what would that be in your mind? Well, you know, Lynn, we've talked about uh, the the games that we've done. Is uh, last year our our struggle used to be the third quarter. Uh, this year it has been we, we've 
Traditionally, this year we've been a good starting team, first quarter. Uh, we've started well in the third quarter. The finishing has been the, the thing for us. So I think if we get off to a hot start, uh, be able to get a lead is keep that lead and extend the lead. And that has been a, a difficult thing for this team to do. Even though we've won some of those, those really close games, uh, we've not been able to put teams away. Now, having said that, this is not going to be one of those games, I don't think, that uh, we're going to really get away from Huntsville. That They're too good of a ball team. They're going to keep it close all the way through. Uh, it's going to be a matter of us taking care of the basketball. We saw it Tuesday night. We, we got a little bit lazy with the basketball when we had a lead. And you do that against good teams like a Huntsville, and they'll come back and make you pay for it. I don't know where my pen went, Lynn, but you, you hooked me up. Okay. Number 12, River, River Gosfinder. Number five, Drew Garrett. Number 43, Jose Aguilar. Number 25, Caleb Kirk. And for the Tigers, double zero, Tanner Purcell starting tonight. DJ Strong starts tonight. He's a junior, a senior, Parker Galligan. Number 15, senior, Layton Smith. Referees get a little bit late getting out on the floor. Here they are. Let's hope they have the right basketball. Hope we've got enough air in the, the basketball. We don't want any, any controversy here. And we're set for the tip. Parker Galligan will tip it off against Caleb Kirk, and Kirk wins the tip for the Eagles. Underway here, Colors Day 2015, big conference matchup here in Prairie Grove. And the Tigers start out in a straight man-to-man -man defense. Huntsville running a motion offense. Tigers doing a nice job defensively pressuring things. They get it inside to Aguiar. He makes a spin move. Sainer goes straight up and gets the block shot. Leighton Smith comes away with the ball for the Tigers. Huntsville comes back. They'll go straight man-to-man -man defense in the half court as well. Dangerous pass right there for the Tigers that Leighton Smith comes up with. Seven minutes to go in the first quarter. No score. Sainer takes a dribble inside and now gives it back. Outside, DJ Strong sets the offense up for the Tigers. Number 14, Jack Eaton gets a hand on the ball right there. The Tigers are able to maintain possession of it. Here's a little high-low look. They can't get the ball inside to Sainer. Now they do. Sainer with the fadeaway, no good. And Huntsville gets the rebound. That's Caleb Kirk with the board for the Eagles. Little 18 foot jumper there for number 12 and go severe, I believe is the way they pronounce that. And Huntsville's got the early 2 0 lead. 6.15 to play in the first quarter, 2 0 Huntsville. We've got an isolation look for Sainer inside, but they can't get the ball to him.
Now Purcell's going to take the ball strong to the basket. He lays it up and in. Tanner Purcell picking up right where he left off Tuesday night against Lincoln. Nice strong move to the basket. We're all tied up at two. There's a long three missed by Eaton, and now the Tigers are coming back quickly. Had a little fast break look there. Purcell not able to come up with the catch. Ball goes out of bounds over to Huntsville. 5.33 to play in the first quarter. All tied up at two. There's a lob look for Huntsville. Nice execution there. Caleb Kirk finishes at the basket. A nice pass there. Good execution on the set play by Huntsville. They've got a 4-2 to two lead with 5-10 to play in the first quarter. The Tigers doing a nice job of being patient, running their offense. they got to be a little more careful with the basketball there as Eaton comes up with the steal, but he's going to get to the foul line. Shoot two, I believe they call that on Tanner Purcell. So that's Tanner's first foul, the first foul of the ball game. And Eaton will go to the line to shoot two for the Eagles. The first shot is a little bit short, no good. The second shot will be on the way. The second shot is no good as well. Sainter clears the board for the Tigers. 4-2, to 4.53 to play in the first quarter. It's going to be a low-scoring, competitive ball game all the way through. Huntsville really pressuring those passing lanes. The Tigers have really got to be careful, making every little pass. Got to make it decisively, make it strong. Leighton Smith attacks the basket there. He's fouled, almost got the end one to go. And Leighton will go to the line to shoot two. They're going to call that foul on number 43, Jose Aguiar. So Leighton goes to the free throw line for the Tigers. A good offensive look there for the Tigers. Leighton's first shot is a little bit too strong, no good. It's the first foul of the ball game for the Eagles. Leighton hits the second free throw, so it's now 4-3 to three with 4.30 to play in the first quarter. That's Drew Garrett with a nice open look for a three-point basket. He makes a pay, 7-3. to three. Huntsville with the lead. Galligan's got the ball at the top of the key. He thought about the three, but wasn't quite ready, so he continues to run offense. Sainter's got Aguiar one-on-one -on -one inside, and Aguiar with one foul early. The Tigers not able to get the ball into him. There's an inside look to Sainter. He makes a shot, fake turns. Shot no good. Kirk clears the rebound for Huntsville. It's a good look inside for Sainer, and there's an open three. No good. Huntsville gets the rebound. Sainer swats it away for the Tigers. Now Purcell comes away with the ball. They're going to get a foul, I believe, called on number 25, Caleb Kirk, for Huntsville. Great defensive block there for Sainer, and a nice job of hustling to get the rebound by Purcell and draw that foul for Huntsville. 3.25 to play in the first quarter. 7-3, to three, Huntsville leads. Purcell attacking baseline, and he finishes off the board. Tanner Purcell off to a nice start. 7-5, 3-13 to play in the first quarter. Purcell off to a good start, four points early on for the Tigers. And now baseline drive there for Kirk. He's fouled. I believe that's going to be the second foul on Tanner. That's his second foul, and he's going to have to come out and take a breather here. Gavin Heltemus. 